Okay, in this lesson, we are going to again solve trigonomer trick equations. But um, before that, right, the question actually requires you to prove a certain identity. This is what we call an identity. That means whatever value of x you sub in on the left, uh, you sub in the same x value on the right. Huh? This left hand side will be equals to the right hand side. So this is what we call an identity. It's something like a formula. Huh? Okay, now. Um, if you are asked to prove that this equals to this, now normally, normally, we will um, start off with the more complicated looking side, and normally it's the left hand side, lah, huh? Okay. So if you are not sure, you start with the left hand side. But uh, what do I mean by the more complicated side? Uh, what I mean is uh, start with the side, uh, that you can break down into either this. Okay, this no? or this. Uh. Uh, so, uh, that means uh, they are not the basic cells yet. Remember I told you the basic cells are sine and cosine. So, this right hand side uh, is already like the basic cell, you see. So, uh, it will be tough to break the basic cell into uh, this secant and tangent. Alright, but it is easier to, you know, secant, secant is what? The second syllable is C, uh, so it's 1 over cos. Tangent, as we all know, is sine over cosine. Alright, so that's what I mean. It's easier to break this down into the, uh, what we call basic cell, what I call basic cells. Uh, huh? Okay, then you see, oh. I already, uh, you see, uh, you must always have the N in mind. Uh, it sounds like aim, right? In, okay, it sounds like your aim. Uh, your aim is to achieve this. Okay? Uh, so now you see, uh, we broke this down into this, this into this. We have a sign here. Uh, and then the denominator, uh, the, the denominators of these two fractions are the same. We can combine this into one. All right. Now, uh, look at the inside of the bracket first. Huh? Same denominator can combine, right? So it's one minus sine at the top. Okay, I'll just write here. Huh? It's one minus sine x at the top. And the denominator is cosine x. Then whole thing square. Now, when I open up this bracket, uh, so-called open up, not, not fully yet, uh, you'll be the numerator square, which is what I have here, and the denominator square. When you square cosine, you get cosine square x. Uh. Uh, so this is what I get. Then you'll say, uh, don't quite look the same. Actually, we are almost there. Uh, if you look at it, uh, you see, uh, you must always have the end in mind, and then you work towards the end, okay? Don't blindly just do, 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 and then don't look at this. I uh, must look at this. All right? So... What is the next step? You must notice that, oh, I want to get 1 minus sine x, right? I already have 1 minus sine x here times 1 minus sine x here. Okay? So I can break this up into 2. And I need 1, minus, uh, 1 plus sine x at the denominator. But currently, it is not there. Uh, that's when you need to know your this identity very well. Can you see that if I change this cosine... Uh, square okay i make this the uh, subject right you'll be one minus sine square okay that's exactly what i'm going to do now okay uh, so this step uh, i'm just trying to show you that uh, i know some of you will go and expand but when you expand now uh, you see you're getting further further away from this fella huh so no point expanding all right so this is not the correct approach because uh, later, uh, you see, you, you, you cannot really do much from there. So a wiser move is to, like what I said just now, break this into two because you really want this. You want this, right? And then you can change this using your identity, this one, into this. Okay? Yeah. After you have done that, right? You remember your difference of two squares? This can be written as difference of two squares. See? 1 and sine x. Okay? And that will give me 1 plus sine x, 1 minus sine x. Remember your difference of two squares? So that's what I have. 
Now these two now are similar, same, huh? so you can cancel and doesn't that give you what they want? Okay, here. So you have proven already. Okay, so we normally do it this way, uh, left hand side, you write whatever is on the left hand side, you do, 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 do. then if it goes to right hand side, right, you have proven it already. Okay, so this is uh, the kind of question uh, you uh, need to know how to do. Alright. Now, uh, any question, if you don't understand, you ask me. Now, the next part of the question is related. Uh, it's related because they say now, hence. Hence means use part one. Results. Okay? Find the values of x for which this is equal to this uh, and they want the value of x are only in this domain okay so now uh, you think about it uh. doesn't this look the same as this in fact it's exactly the same as this okay and the reason why in the very first part they asked you to um, prove that this is this uh, is so that in the second part right you can replace this complicated looking thing with this simpler one. Huh? Then you say, huh? uh, this looks simpler, man. Yes, 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 this one is simpler because it's in the basic cells and there's no square square kind of stuff. Huh? So that's what I'm going to do. And after I've done that, right, I do you remember um, this is what we call a trigonometric equation. And when you're asked to solve, find the value of x means you solve. Lah. When you're asked to solve, right, what do you use? You use at mat, right? At mat, huh? Okay, so the E. Have we gotten the equivalent form such that you only get sine, uh, cosine, tangent equals to a number? Do we have that? No, we don't, right? Uh, so how do we get that? Uh, the good news is that they are all in sine now. So uh, you just need to try and... Uh, make sign the subject now okay and if you remember your lower set work what you need to do now is to cross multiply to get this right okay and then you do grouping now when you do grouping you will find that oh this fella come here this fella go there is zero here on the right hand side divide both sides by minus two you will get this okay now uh if you do your add mat, uh, you have already obtained this fella, equivalent form done. Now, what's the domain? X. X is between. X is between 0 and 360, right? Uh, so, that's perfectly fine. Okay, don't have to do anything to this D. Next, mode. Mode is in degree. So, please change your calculator mode to degree now. Uh alpha now for this kind of um, trigo ratio uh, when it is psi x equals zero la psi x equal minus one uh, psi x equals to one uh, uh, similarly if it is cosine x uh, if it had been cosine 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 here right now for this kind of cases uh, uh, I will recommend you don't find the alpha Huh? Then you ask me why. Okay, because when you find the alpha, it might be very confusing for some of you. Uh, because uh, do you remember your alpha is sine inverse of whatever uh, number here. You just take the number without the sign. So when you take sine inverse alpha, okay, inverse sine zero, uh, you get zero. Then most of you wouldn't know what to do with this zero. Alright? So I uh to kill two birds with one stone. If if uh, if your equivalent form meaning this 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 uh, uh the number here if it is minus one one or zero then you do a rough sketch and this helps you in your sketching to remember your sketching also uh Remember sine x, how to draw sine x? 
uh, one full cycle is 360, right? Then halfway, halfway, 9, 18, 27, right? 27. So quarter of an egg, quarter of egg, quarter of egg, quarter of egg, right? Then you start, uh, sign starts from here. Uh, go to one, then go to minus one, right? So quarter of an egg, all right? Quarter of an egg, quarter of an egg. Uh, here, here. Quarter of an egg. Am I correct? Every quarter uh, is quarter of an egg. Okay. So do you remember that if I want sign x to be equal to zero, oh, this is y equals sign x, right? So sign x equals to zero uh, will happen when x equals to zero, when x equals to 180, when x equals to 360. You see, doing, doing this uh, is more uh, easy to understand than you obtain this, then you don't know what to do with it. Am I right? Okay, so that's why it's good to do this sketch whenever you have minus 1, 0, or 1. Okay, but you take a look at the question. Uh, you see, that's why it's so important uh, to follow my add math. Okay, ASTC, there's no need to do ASTC because uh, uh, when you apply, when, when they're in this few numbers, right, then you apply this, uh, you are already doing the ASTC already. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. So you already determine where the numbers are. And you know why it's so uh, difficult to use your calculator? Because this value falls exactly at the changing of the quadrant, you see? Huh? At 180, right, exactly between uh, this second and third quadrant, uh, you are here. Then this fella uh, is, is exactly right at the end of the last quadrant, the fourth quadrant. That's why it's very difficult to use your alpha. Okay, now, this fella domain is to check whether your answer satisfy whatever condition they give you. So they say uh, x is between 0 to 360. There's no equal sign here. So can you say it's equal to 0? Cannot. So you reject this. Uh, there's no equal sign here. So can you say that x is 360? Cannot. So the only answer is 180 for this particular part. Do you understand? So you see how powerful this ad mat is? Very, very, very powerful uh, ad mat. Okay? Use this and you will never make mistake. Alright? So that's all for this particular question. Now, next. Again, uh, it's a proving question. After they have made you prove this, then they will make you solve some other equation, but using this identity. Okay? So, uh, AMATs are very predictable. One, okay? It's always like that. Understand? Yeah, it's whether you know how to do or not. So, maybe, maybe you ought to think about it. Uh. I mentioned just now, right? For proving questions, you always start off with the more complicated looking side, right? So, which side looks more complicated to you? Definitely this one, right? Because you got cosecant, secant, tangent, you got three different ratios, and then you got this multiplied by this also. Whereas this, uh, if you remember, what is uh, cotangent equals to? It's the inverse of tangent. So it's cos over sine. Alright? So you need to be very aware. Uh. Next time I'll teach you some other tricks, okay? But right now, uh, this fella, right, you must know that it's sine over... Oh, uh, sorry. Cosine over sine. That means uh, you're aiming. Your aim. Uh, your end in mind. Uh, your aim. Uh. Your aim sounds like aim, right? Your aim uh, is to get cos over sine. Manipulate this until you get cos over sine. Okay, are we clear? Okay, but of course, cos over sine is a basic cell. So you have this not basic cell, but you know this is 1 over sine because cosecant. Uh, then secant, you know it's 1 over cos. Uh, then tangent, uh, you know it's sine over cosine. So this, you break this up first. Okay, now, after breaking it up, you will find that you get one uh, so-called thing multiplied by another thing, okay? This is very straightforward because 
the denominators are both the same, you can combine them together. Alright, how about this? Oh, because uh, this is just one, you can multiply uh, sine x, sine x, right? It's effectively multiplying one by one because equivalent fractional. Uh, then uh, you can combine these two together already. Okay? Now then, after this, what do we do? Are we closer, nearer to what we want? Uh, more or less, okay? We at least have, at the denominator, we have this fella already. That means this fella, you don't remove it. It has to stay. It has to stay because this is actually what we want, all right? Which means the rest has to go, okay? Then you think about it, huh? Oh, <laughs> does this, <coughs> sorry, look like difference of two squares? Yes, okay? If I rewrite this as 1 plus sine x, this is 1 minus sine x, isn't this a plus b, a minus b? Uh, okay, then I, this one don't touch, huh? this one don't touch. You now expand it, right? You'll be a square minus b square. Ah, like that. Okay, then the magic comes ready. Doesn't this look familiar, the numerator? If, if it doesn't look familiar, that means you don't know this. Uh, okay, so I guarantee you 100%, okay, guarantee you this or this or this will come out in your end of year exam. If don't come out, uh, you can't look for me, okay? I give you this pen, this, this pen, okay? Uh? And I give you this watch, uh, very nice watch, okay? If don't come out, uh, don't come out, I give you this watch. Okay, now the next one uh, is this. You have 1 minus sine square, right? So 1 minus sine square is cosine square. Okay, so now we have cosine square. And can you see? Very happy. There are two of them up there. Cosine and cosine, right? So you can cancel and you will get this. And isn't this what you want? Huh? Uh, so this is what you want, right? Okay, so this is the final answer. And you have proven really. Okay? Now that is all. Now next part. The next part uh, they ask you to find in radians the acute angle for which d -d 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 equals this. Now we have already shown that this left hand side thing, right? This thing is this. So you immediately change it to this and then you can solve ready. Remember cotangent is one over tangent. Do not uh do not, um, you know, we must be smart. Huh? Do not change it to this. Huh? Go ahead, change it to this, right? Then you end up with uh, cos and sine. We don't, want, we don't want too many ratios. When we do the equivalent form, which we are doing now, we only want like one, la, two, la, three. La, just one of them, if possible. Okay? Sometimes it's not possible. But in this case, it's possible, you see. You can just change it to this. So we change it to this. You flip it, so-called cross multiply, and then you find the. Uh, okay, I show you ah. Uh. Okay, domain. Check the domain. Domain uh, The first domain means is my argument here same as the. Oh, because they want acute angle only uh. Acute angle means this uh, x right is between zero to. 90. Oh, but they want radians, sorry. They want radians, huh? so it's pi over 2. Okay? Uh, then now you check the mode. Because they want radians, what? change your calculator mode to radian, okay? Alpha. Change, uh, find the alpha. So it's pi over 4. Okay? And now, ASTC. Then later you check the domain. Huh? ASTC. No need to do actually, you know why? Because they want acute angle. So it's actually just pi over 4, uh, which is 45 degrees. Ah. So that's your answer already. Okay, very straightforward. Ah. Okay, now uh, one more question. Let's see. Ah. Okay, this question, uh, they want you to prove, prove that this, minus this whole thing is equals to this. Now, you tell me which side is more complicated looking, left or right? 
of course left right uh, okay and then can you see that the right hand side is like the basic cell so normally basic cell uh, is uh, is the less complicated one uh, huh? okay now uh, but of course, we are not talking about double angle yet. Huh? Next time you do double angle, then you will, you will know what I mean. Huh? Okay, so we start with the left hand side. Okay, and left hand side, what do I do? One, uh, this number one, right? It's a very flexible, uh, when it's a constant here, it's a very flexible one. You can just take whatever denominator that you want. Uh, you put this here, okay? Over this same denominator, then you can combine to a single fraction already, okay? Now, after you have done that, uh, after you have done that, right, you see that you want cosine, right? You want cosine. So, uh, I'm trying uh, to get rid of this sine square. Do, do you follow me? Okay, so this minus, uh, don't do anything to it, okay? This minus stay, it's like a doggy, doggy. We only do this sine square only, sine square. So, sine square, you see a lot, you see a lot. Almost every question uh, is using this but of course can use this can use this huh? but this is very very popular okay i guarantee you will come out okay uh, i throw in one more thing I throw in one more thing won't come out i give you this stapler very good one this stapler okay very good you now look uh, at the next question huh? no no next part huh? so i change this sine square right to one minus cos square like that okay then i open up I open up uh, minus then plus right uh, like that right oh uh, then this minus one zero ah zero idea uh. so i got rid of the numbers you see down here no numbers uh. Wait, uh. there's no numbers here uh. so when you get rid of the number uh, you are getting closer and closer to this fella okay and then now they're all in cost ah uh, then you remember they were uh, lower set right they always ask you take out common factor take out common uh, is to help you with this question no you see cost can take out right then left one this time this is this this time this is this yeah so now do you see that because these two are the same don't use pen to cancel uh. i'm just trying to tell you these two are the same then eh? isn't it just like that finish already okay so that's all for this proving now the next part they Is this the one? Uh, eight. Eight. Wait, ah. Uh. I think that's all. That's all for this. Yeah, okay, okay. I think that's all. Uh. Sorry, that's all for this particular part. Uh, where did it go? Where are we? Sorry. Yeah, I think I think that's all, no? That's all, huh? uh. Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's all. I think I, I don't know why like that. Okay, now me. Uh, now they ask you uh, the next part. Uh, the next part uh, solve this equation. Okay, for zero to three sixty. Uh, meaning you must work in degrees. All right. Um, then you look at the question uh, uh, it's trigo ratios with equal sign, so you must use add mat, right? Add mat. Huh? Uh, now you look at your add mat. Uh. Uh, where's my add mat? Uh? Okay, add mat, first step, equivalent form. So is it in the form, very simple form, sine, cosine, tangent? No, right? No, you have to do some makeup to this, okay? How to do the makeup? Uh, Second, uh, second right is equals to second uh, is equal to tangent square plus one. The argument uh, not a okay is whatever is here. Alright. Arg argument means the thing inside here. Uh. Okay, now we go to uh, change this fella into this fella. 
okay uh, the rest remains the same now after you change this um, this to this uh, then you must remember to expand you know and I tell you what's the most common mistake in the exam uh. students when they expand right they normally will remember to expand this but they forget to expand this one they forget to take two times this okay then everything will be wrong already uh, so this is a lesson for us uh. for example this is one whole year right 2021 uh. most of you in the beginning wow, you start off very hard working uh. then in the end uh, uh, later half of the year then you no energy already <laughs> so cannot okay you must first half of the year semester one very good semester two also must remember to be very good huh? okay cannot forget uh, okay now after that right we will change this to a, a quadratic equation uh, make sure the right hand side is equal to zero then this will become your a this will become your b b is minus one okay and this will become your c all right Ah, if you can see that you can expand, that's very good. All right, but if you can't, then use the foolproof way that I showed you. <coughs> we are dealing with tangent, uh, tangent, right? So you write tangent, then you use the quadratic formula. Okay, remember minus b plus minus square root b square minus four a c that formula, then all over two a. Uh, use that one uh, you get the same answer as me okay so if i were to put in this will be this then a c okay uh, you work it out right you will get these two same answers as me okay i actually recommend you use this one uh, huh? because uh, we are not very strong we use this one we sure get correct you use this one uh, you may not get correct you know okay so let's use this one now after this what do we do uh, do we need to reject any of this? No, we don't need to reject. Huh? Uh, when must we reject? We reject if this is, uh, let's say sine x, right? Then you have 2. Cannot, uh, cannot. Sine, the maximum is 1. Minimum is minus 1, so cannot be 2. Okay? Cosine x, let's say you have 2. Cannot also. Huh? Because maximum for cosine is 1. Minimum is minus 1, so cannot. So sine and cosine must be very, very careful. Tangent, uh, because of the shape of the graph, if you still remember, right? It goes on forever, is it? It goes on forever. So there's no limit to this number, no limit to this number. So perfectly fine. Okay? Now, uh, applying at mat, uh, very happy. We are now at this particular stage, right? Now we could check the domain. The domain is the x is this x uh, this argument uh, the same as this given domain yes no need to do anything okay at uh i do here uh. this one done this one done now check the mode is the mode in degree if not please change now this is your alpha uh, let's do your alpha now uh. okay i do the left hand side first all right remember uh, do not put the minus inside uh. you put the minus inside you will no longer be acute so put this here and then you will get this okay 5sf uh done already right alpha done now do the astc you want tangent to be negative tangent negative is where a s t c uh. tangent negative is here and here right ah uh, so it's this angle and this angle correct so this angle is 180 minus this 25 uh, 26 point something uh 26.565 okay then this is vertically opposite right 26.565 this other angle is 360 minus this so you get these two answers okay clear so that is for this left hand side now we are going to the right hand side now uh there are actually two sets of answers but all these two sets of answers they actually combine to the all the possible answers are uh, I just explain first just in case you all don't understand me uh, later so this answer is yes yes uh, this answer also yes this answer also yes okay so they are all part of the answers all right yeah so now we look at this side here when you find the base uh, sorry the uh, basic angle or the reference angle or what we call the alpha okay you get 45 all right and you want tangent pos positive huh? a s t c right so it's here and here so it's 45 
This is 45, right? But this is 180. So it's 225. That's the final answer. Okay? I hope you understand. This part we have done uh, the past few days already. So I think you should be clear. Huh? Okay, so that's all for this uh, particular question. Now, I'm going to... There's a special guest appearance. Huh? Uh, because one of you asked me how to do this question. I think it's in the revision worksheet. Okay? So there's this Ferris wheel. Huh? There's this Ferris wheel. Uh, you read the question first, alright? The height or uh, above ground, uh, H meters of a passenger on a Ferris wheel. So there's this guy. Lah, there's this guy. Uh, you know Ferris wheel? Like your Singapore flyer like that. It's here, right? Then normally, normally, uh, this is the ground level. Then you maybe take the, the uh, Ferris wheel from here or from here. Or it can be anywhere, uh, depending on where the, the leaf takes you to. Am I right? Okay. But this is the actual ground area. Your flyer has to be higher than the ground for it to turn, right? Otherwise, this thing will hit here already. Okay. So it will turn and turn and turn. Uh, and the amazing thing is this. The height. Uh, the height above ground. Uh, so the height above ground. Let's say now you are here, right? This is the H. Huh? Uh, then you go up to here, then this is your H. You go here, then this is your H. So this is what they mean by height above ground, right? The height above ground uh, can be modelled by the cosine graph. Wow. Oh, amazing. Huh? Uh, it is, all these are true one, real one. Uh, your handphone also modelled by sine, cosine, tangent. Huh? Uh, the initial height of the passenger above the ground is 1 meter. So... We don't know where it is. Uh, we can be here, it can be here, we don't know where. But initially, right, the H, uh, the H is 1 meter. Do, do, do you understand? Initially, the H is 1 meter. So don't you agree I can suck the... Initially, initially means what? Initial. Initial means uh, when you first start timing. So T equals 0, right? Uh, so when T equals 0, uh, when T equals 0, you suck. T equals 0, H equals 0 into this equation. Here, 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 here. Uh, 0. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 0. This thing holding 0. Uh, and 1. There. Then you can get your A already. Uh, like that. No? Just, just like that only. Okay. Uh? So this is the first part. But let me show you an animation. Okay. On why the sine, cosine and the tangent graph uh, is so useful. Alright. Let's take a look, uh, see uh, why and how it can be done, okay? You can uh, play on your own. I'll try and send you the link, okay? Now you see, uh, uh, oops, uh, this one, right? This, uh, wait, uh, this is like your fairy's wheel, okay? Now, um, I told you, right, I told you that... Uh, Sine and cosine graph, uh, this is sine graph, right? Cosine graph uh, will start from here one, right? Meaning to say that the for cosine graph, uh, the y-axis will start here, right? Then you'll be quarter of an eight, quarter of an eight, quarter of an eight, quarter of an eight, right? That's one full cycle, right? Uh, sine, uh, sine is 90 degrees difference uh, from the cosine. Uh, so that's why it starts from here, starts from zero. Quarter of an egg, quarter of egg, quarter of egg, quarter of egg. So it's 360 degrees. That is one full cycle. You all clear? Okay, so now how can this... Okay, I show you the sine graph, huh, but for, for, for cosine, it's the same thing. Lah. You see, uh, let's say you start here. Huh? You are a passenger here, okay? Then as your um, capsule move, huh, you see now you are here. All right? Your... Um, your distance from the middle center line uh, is zero, right? You see, uh, as the capsule move, okay, why not moving? Okay, wait, wait, wait. okay sorry. Uh. As your capsule moves, okay, 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 okay wait, wait. as your capsule moves, ah, uh, you see, you're moving now, uh, you see, uh, you're moving now, and then as you gain height, uh, you see, as you gain height, uh, you see, your this thing also gain height. And then your angle, uh, your angle come to 90, right? You see, you see, 90 is here. Uh. Uh, 
Ah, then as I turn some more, turn some more, turn some more, half a half of a round isn't it hundred eighty? Ah, so this sine graph, ah, and also cosine graph, right, can be used to model your movement. Then now you see, ah, I move some more, ah, I move now more than hundred eighty already. I see, ah, now more more than hundred eighty as I move the red spot, right? Uh, wait. Okay, as I move the red spot, ah, you see, you go to the negative negative side already because now it's below below negative side uh, because it's below the center line you you follow uh then you reach 270 uh, you are right at the minimum and then when you turn 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 turn, turn you come back to the original uh, actually it's 360 you make you have made one full round already okay do you follow now of course the capsule can go one more round uh. the capsule can go round and round and round okay i animate uh. Uh, okay, wait lah. Uh, okay, the, the animation never come out. But I think you know what I mean lah. You can go one round, right? You can go one round. Ah, you see? One round here. Ah. Then if it continues, right? If it continues, ah, you go to 270 already. Uh, you go on forever and ever because the sine cosine graph goes on forever and ever. Okay, you follow? Alright, huh? so I hope you understand that this sine cosine graph very powerful, very very powerful. Tangent are not so useful. Tangent not so useful, okay? Uh, it ha does have its application. What I mean by not, not so useful means uh, the, the application is not as wide, la, uh, not as wide, you know? Okay? It's still useful but not as wide. Huh? Okay, now, the second part huh, is a little bit harder. Just a little bit only. Last question for the day already. Huh? The Ferris wheel makes two complete revolutions. I told you just now already. Huh? You can go one round. You, 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 let's say you start here. Huh? You can go one round. Okay, in the, in the Singapore Flyer, of course, they make you go one round only. Huh? Then you pay don't know how much, right? $30 or what, huh? $29.90. Huh? But if you pay more, right, then you can go another round. Uh, you can go another round. Then you still not happy, then you go round and round the whole night you are there. Then you go round and round and round. Okay, also can. Uh. So you, the revolution make two complete rounds. Find the time to the nearest second for the passengers to reach maximum volume on the second revolution. That means, uh, you look at this, right? First revolution, uh, let's say you go up. This one is maximum, right? Maximum, uh, no count. Ah, we don't want this one. Because now it's the first revolution. Uh. So now, one full cycle already, right? One full revolution already, uh, revolution. Uh. Okay, now second round. Ah, this second round when you're at maximum, second time, then we count what is the angle. Uh, is it what the angle that they want? Oh, they want the time. Uh. Ah, how much time has passed? Meaning to say, you use this formula to help you okay ah uh, so now we see how to do this ah uh. okay i want uh, maximum right so this one you must use a little bit of elementary maths ah uh. do you remember that okay so now we know h uh, is 11.0 something uh square root 109 cosine of this right ah uh, but do you do you remember that to make this whole thing maximum, if I can make this, because uh, cosine, right? This cosine, uh, maximum is 1, correct? Minimum is minus 1. So if this cosine, uh, I can throw this minus 1 here, minus 1 times uh, minus become plus, then you'll be the greatest ready because this plus, this whole thing, you'll be the greatest. Anything in between, uh, no use to us. You, you follow? Because if I choose 1, uh, then it be minus, no use. If I choose 0, then it's minus 0, no use. I want plus this. Ah, I want plus this. So, this, I must make it become minus 1. That is why I say this must be minus 1. Okay? And now, uh, this fella now, ah, uh, uh, this fella now, ah, uh, this fellow now, uh, 
Uh, okay, I, I think I don't talk about that now. Lah. We, we just do the simple case. This fellow now, right, I find the uh, next 